This short video explains how to process the tobacco and cigarette CPI changes into profit track. The steps we will look at in this video are firstly, perform a backup, second, process the CPI host file, third, check product pricing before sending changes to the point of sale, and fourth, how to fix pricing. This step is only required if your pricing is incorrect. If you have lock flags set on tobacco products, this will prevent the CPI changes applying to those products. Refer to the How to Fix Pricing section of this video at the 5.12 minute mark. We would suggest you perform an on-demand backup just in case there are issues with your data. Click File, Backup, On-Demand Backup. Click Change to select the location for the backup. This could be the USB, CD or your hard drive. Click Start. The backup complete message displays when done. Click Close. You can now process your CPI host file. A CPI file has a different effect in ProfitTrack to your normal host file. The default is to not pass on the increases and decreases automatically. So it is very important to turn on the option to update increases and decreases before you update shop. Press host and process in your CPI host file as you would your normal weekly host. Double click to edit the file. For CPI host, price increases and price decreases must be selected. Highlight the price batch at the header level and press spacebar to select all changes in the batch to take effect. It is important to note that changes at the header level become the permanent value, meaning all your hosts will now default to applying the price increases and decreases. To change back, highlight the price decreases and press the spacebar when you next process your weekly host. To view the CPI products, double click the batch. You can highlight products and press the spacebar to stop Start price changes as selected. Process the host as normal via Update Shop button. The next step is to check the pricing on the tobacco products before you send the changes to the POS. There are several ways to do this. You can check in the shop file, check via Fast Prices, view the pending prices report, or view the price list report. To view the pricing in shop, click Shop. Click F3 Search, select the Tobacco and Cigarettes Department, and then click on the arrow over here and change to Sell Prices. You can then change the sort order to GP or any other column header, and then scroll down the list to make sure you are happy with the pricing. If you use Consolidate Products, this will only show you the main product. For example, here we can only see the packet for Benson & Hedges Red. Double click to view the sell price and GP for all the linked products. Another way to check if your prices are correct is via Fast Prices. Click on Fast Prices and then select the Tobacco and Cigarettes Department. All consolidated and linked products will be listed here, as well as Sell 1, GP and RRP. Edit by Cell 1 or GP percent. You can scroll down the list to make sure your pricing is correct and edit when necessary. Click Save when done to update the prices in your shop file. The third way to view your CPI prices is by the Pending Prices list. Click Reports, Management Reports, Pending Prices list. This list will show you the prices that are pending to go down to the POS. Click Print and then click Close. You can also generate a price list report to view your CPI pricing. Click Reports, Price Lists, Standard Price Lists. Select the Cigarettes and Tobacco Department and press OK. Click Print and then click Close. If you are now happy that the pricing is correct, you can print the tickets and send the changes to the registers. 
If you are not happy with your prices, do not send to POS. Leave the prices pending and contact Independent Solutions Support. This how to fix pricing section of the video is only required if you did not pass on your increases and decreases from the CPI host file in step two. The first step to fixing your prices would be to remove any lock flags on your tobacco products. Lock flags on products will prevent the host applying the CPI changes for normal cell to equal RRP. You can then run mass cell update to bring cell one back in line with RRP or run fast pricing to bring your cell one back in line with RRP. To see what products have lock flags against them, click reports, product reports, products for lock status. We suggest you run this report for all lock flags except not locked. Click the double arrows to select all the lock flags, then highlight not locked and click this arrow to deselect. Then click departments, select cigarettes and tobacco, and click OK to run the report. This will list any tobacco products with lock flags. Click print and then click close. To remove a lock flag from an individual product, click shop and then click F3 search and key in the product number. Double click the POU line and change the lock flag to not locked. Click OK and click Save. We will now have a look at how to remove the lock flags from all tobacco products by set selected. Click F3 Search, click Department and select Tobacco and Cigarettes. Click Tick All and then click Set Selected. Click on POU lock flag and change to not locked. Click OK. Click OK again. All the products are now updated so there's no need to save. Just click close. Now that the lock flags have been removed from your tobacco products, we can run mass cell updates to quickly change cell 1 back in line with RRP for multiple products. Please note that GP is not listed in this function. Use fast prices if you want to see the GP, but you will have to change each product individually. Please refer to step 3.2 of this video for how to use fast prices. This is at the 3.32 minute mark of this video. To run mass cell updates, click file, fast prices, and then mass cell updates. Select increases, and decreases and click evaluate. Select tobacco and cigarettes and click OK. Here we have products listed where cell 1 listed under the old cell 1 column does not equal RRP which is the new cell 1 column. All products have a tick to indicate they are selected to have their price changed to RRP. Use the spacebar to select Deselect products as required. The arrows indicate if the cell price needs to move up or down to be in line with RRP. For example, this cigars product is selling at 1325 instead of the 1465 RRP. Click process to update these price changes into your shop file. Click close when done. Thank you for watching. If you require further assistance, please contact us at Independent Solutions.